Hi! Um, right now I'm doing my first ever like speed painting on the computer. Also, I should say if it looks bad, that's because I'm still kind of getting used to drawing with a tablet instead of pen and paper. It's really difficult, actually, to go from paper to actual tablet because you have to get used to like not looking at your hand while you're drawing. So, it's hard. So if it looks bad, I blame that entirely. Um, also, fun fact, I base this story, or the, not the story, I base this, uh, drawing off of a story I wrote when I was, like, 13, and I was thinking I might actually read it while my speed drawing is playing in the background. Um, I kind of stole this idea from Lavender Town, because she does the same thing except with creepypasta, except I don't think she wrote the creepypasta. Anyways, uh, I w was thinking I'd read it. And also, if the story is bad, then I blame the fact that I was 13. So, <laughs> I take absolutely no blame if either of the two medias that are being portrayed right now are terrible. <laughs> okay, so this is The Library by 13-year-old Kaylee. <laughs> the library is a place filled of the wonder-filled minds, reading from the minds of filled of wonder. The sights, smells, touch, hearing, and even the taste of the library help set the adventure of reading. The trees of books add to the nature that filled in a variety of books through their words. The pages looking to an untraded eye like a jumble of words, but to those who see the library as a pick your own adventure, we see the start of the life as a different person for 500 pages. The sight of the buildings and sparks of excitement through even the most somber of people. Its welcoming aura only being seen by those who wish to read and learn. The sounds can also have an effect on those who strive to be adventurous in the safety of a comfortable chair. The flipping of pages, whether fast or slow, fills the room like happy music on a sad day. The occasional yawns or gasps make the stories even more exciting. The sips of tea or coffee, the shifts in positions, and the sound of books hitting tables help even the most distracted become invested in a book about a vampire. The silence that seems to be filled with the sounds of thoughts of people and the screams of the stories as they wish to be read. The knowing librarian's words as she directs those to her favorite books without a second thought. Though the li librarian may seem quiet, the quest and lessons seem to float out of the books into the ears of those searching for a new adventure or an escape. The touch of these books sending those into worlds of wonder. The feel of the books as hands run themselves over shelves of them, looking for the one that feels right. The touch of the leather chairs makes the room come alive as though one were surrounded in a blanket of security. The pages at the fingertips make even the most hardened person smile at the start of a book. The bookmark that many won't use because they need to finish one more word, one more sentence, one more chapter, one more book, doesn't feel or look like failure because stopping was necessary. The satisfaction of flipping a page makes the magic of the story come through the fingertips that are too excited to notice. Envy is felt to those who know the endings of the best stories, while jealousy is felt in those who get to read the stories for the first time. The sharing of favorites, favorites of authors or books, doesn't matter because it is just the feeling of sharing of experience with those who will enjoy it. Those who will enjoy the sight, touch, sound, smell, and taste of the books. The taste of the tea and coffee of those before makes the room seem like family rather than strangers. The smell of the books, which have been compared to the sweet scent of a honey bun. The taste of adventure on everyone's tongues while they walk through the door. The scent of the leaf-like pages make even the most unmotivated reader want to come. All at the library. So, there's a lot of grammatical mistakes that I would probably attempt to fix now, but it's... It's not terrible. I actually kind of like it a lot. Um, also, I'm really kind of happy with the drawing that I did. I like the way I used the overlays with the yellow and the gray to make um, only where the book was like open more colorful, almost. You can also see that I had to like uh, redo the bookshelf because my computer stopped working. It saved it like uh, without like the opacity was really low when it saved, so. <laughs> the books were like see-through, so I had to redo them. Okay, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Um, alright. Bye! <laughs>